monitor light is a great way to save space on the desk and reduce eye fatigue during long sessions. In today's video, I'm doing a comparison between these two monitor lights that were sent to me by BenQ. But before we start, I want to answer a few questions that I've been getting quite a lot on my Instagram page. Like, what's the point of monitor lights? Why do I need to illuminate my screen? Well, a monitor light is just like any other light. It's not made to illuminate the screen, but to illuminate the space that you are working on without causing screen glares. At the same time, it gives you more control over your light. You can adjust the brightness, change color temperature, and so on. Additionally, traditional lamps tend to flicker at certain frequencies. But that's not the case with monitor lights. Well, at least the ones I have here. That's because they are both rated at 95 plus CRI, which is what you should aim for if you really care about your eyes. With that being said, let's start with the price. On the left side, we have the regular version, which costs £89 here in the UK, and on the right side, we have the Halo, which is the most advanced version and it sells for £149. Size wise, the Halo is a bigger light, measuring 50 cm long whereas the regular version comes at 45. As a result, the Halo will have a better light coverage area on the desk. When it comes to the design and build quality, both of these lights look great and are well built. Personally, I prefer the screen bar Halo simply because I think it looks better and feels more premium. Now let's talk about light modes. The regular version has only one light mode, which is the front light. The Halo, on the other hand, has three different modes. You can illuminate the front of the screen, the back of the screen, or you can do both, which is great. As a creator, the more options I have, the better. And what's even better is the wireless controller that comes with the screen bar Halo. The controller can be used to control the color temperature, brightness, activate the auto dimming feature, turn on and off the lights, and even save your favorite presets. Now, the biggest difference between the screen bar Halo and the screen bar regular is that the regular version doesn't have a wireless controller, which means that the controllers are built in directly into the light bar. From my experience using both of these lights, I can say that the Halo is just a better light to use. When I used the regular version, I found myself using the auto dimming feature most of the time because adjusting the lights wasn't as easy. And when it comes to the brightness, on paper the screen bar regular is a brighter light compared to the screen bar Halo. But on the other hand, the Halo is a bigger light which means it can light up more space on the desk. Personally, I didn't notice much difference in terms of the brightness. But what I did notice right away is the fact that the Halo has a backlight and it makes a huge difference. Now, before you decide which one of these lights to buy, you should pay attention to the kind of monitor you currently own. If it's a curved or flat one, and also the thickness of that monitor. Because the screen bar Halo is only compatible with flat monitors that are between 0.7 and 6 cm of thickness and curved monitors that are between 1.6 and 4.2 cm. And when it comes to the regular version, that range is a bit lower. It goes from 1 cm to 3 cm. The screen bar regular can be used with certain curved monitors. But if you want to avoid screen glares, you should definitely go with the Halo, as it is compatible with more curved monitors and also comes with an adapter. Now, if you are wondering about webcams, if you can still use them with the monitor light, then you should know that the screen bar Halo does have an adapter which you can buy for the webcam. The screen bar regular, unfortunately, doesn't have one, but some people were still able to mount the webcam on top of the monitor light. Now, both of these lights has a USB power cable. The screen bar regular comes with a USB-C to USB-A power cable, which is good to see. The Halo, on the other hand, comes with a non-removable USB-A power cable, which is weird. So, after using both of these lights, which one would I recommend based on the price, features and the overall experience? Well, both of these lights do a great job at what they're meant to do which is lighting up your desk space. And when I used the screen bar regular, I was really happy with that light. 
80% of the time, I will just leave it with the auto dimming feature on. And it worked really well. Only when I manually needed to adjust the light, that I felt like I needed a better way to do it. With the Halo, it's a different story. It feels like a more complete product, you have the front light, the back light, the controller, and you can even save your favorite preset, which is great. So my recommendation is definitely the Halo version. If you have the money and you need those extra features, then that's the one I would go for. But if you don't need those features and you just want to light up the front of your desk, then the regular version is a great choice. Well guys, Nielsen here, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.